Hi, in this video we're simply going to try to answer this question. Is Google dorking illegal? Now Google dorking is a process where you can take the Google search engine and turn it into a hacking tool. So if you'd like to see how to do that, look at a previous video and I'll leave the link here in the alerts. So the question is, if Google has provided a way to find things that were not intended to be shared, does that make it now a public access? And so that's the question. Is this an illegal process now? So dorking or searching with Google hacking is found in this database online called the Google Hacking Database. And so you can find things with precise searches such as credit card numbers, usernames and passwords, maybe social security numbers, financial information, company plans, basically any kind of spreadsheet, PowerPoint, document, any kind of file that was not meant to be shared. And so it is accidentally put on the internet and Google is able to find it. With these Google searches, you can probably discover what they are. So here's the link if you want to find out where the Google hacking database is, or like I said, go check the other video of how to do some of these searches. So now the question I phrased at the beginning is, are these Google dorks or Google searches, Google hacking searches, are they legal? So the first question that would come to mind then is, is it illegal to look at a document that was mistakenly published on a public web server? I mean, that's what web servers are for, right? Is to share information. And you have to go to great lengths to make it actually work. So if you've put something on your web server and it's your mistake, does that bring the culpability to the person that's looking at it? So the second question is, is it illegal to use somebody's password to enter a computer system? So those are two different questions and I think, I believe that there might be two different answers. Now I'm not a lawyer, so what I am saying here is just my analysis, so don't please take your uh, case to court by anything I say. If you are in trouble for Google dorking, then go hire a lawyer. My point of this video is to provide a warning for people that would take this easy to use tool and put it to criminal use. So the question is, if something is public and it's available and you look at it, is it legal to do so? There have been actual cases where criminal charges were brought against somebody that was called a hacker for looking at publicly available information. So here's a case that is kind of an extreme case, but certainly is relevant. So Andrew, what they call Weave, was a man that was using uh, a hack or a vulnerability really in the iPad. And this was back in 2010. And he was guilty of exploiting the weakness and discovering all kinds of emails. Now what he did with those emails, I believe, is more of the intent of the uh, crime against him. So interesting case, you should go check it out. As a matter of fact, the link here for The Guardian shows a story about Weave. So here's actually The Guardian and the story about it. So AT&T hackers jailed for three years for exposing iPads owners' email addresses. So please go look at the story, and it is very similar to a hack with a Google dork because he really didn't do anything that was like to break and enter into the iPad. He was just looking at a URL that was available online, obviously by mistake. Anytime that it comes to a question of computer security and illegal entry into a system, you're going to have this law come up. The Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, the CFAA. So it's a broad law. With a broad stroke, it makes any unauthorized access into a computer system a crime. So the CFAA was used in cases where people have obtained somebody else's username and password, entered into a system, obtained information, and of course that was a crime, even though the information was easily accessible. And so the intent and the trespassing law here is what CFAA is all about. So let's go to the best legal authority we can find. Uh, let's look at Wikipedia. This is actually a really good resource because of the links that are at the bottom of the page. So the CFAA is listed here, a description, some of the background of it, the different extensions to the law. 
But the part that you would find interesting if you are contemplating using Google dorking for your own purposes is to look at some of the criminal cases here. So you can see every one of these cases involves somebody going into a computer system. The circumstances are slightly different, but these seem to be landmark cases. So they have a, a section here called criminal cases and then further down called civil cases. So you can check through all of these. So I did my, my unofficial legal research and went through and I thought, nope, nope, that's not quite Google dorking, that's not quite. There is one here that seems to be something like it where there is a case about scraping information off of publicly available web pages. So the, I mean, the act of actually taking data that is online is certainly legal, even if you're scraping an entire website. However, the follow-up question is, what are you going to do with that information? And if you use somebody's password to break into another computer, you've obviously broken the law. Here's another resource that's pretty easy to understand. Uh, Reddit, the best legal advice on online, right? But it's a great question. Is it illegal to use Google Dorks? And so check it out. I think you're going to find some of the same answers here. Basically what I've said. So. Yes, you're authorized to use filters to make your research. No, you're not authorized to search for dorks or referencing websites with known vulnerabilities and launch attacks on each of them. So I think that's kind of the idea here. It's not illegal to look, it's illegal to act. So if you find somebody's sticky note on the floor in the hallway that says my password and my username, it's okay to pick it up and look at it. It's not okay to go ahead and log in with that system and drain their bank account. Finally, I thought this was humorous. I looked at a research uh, that from, directly from Google search help and somebody asked, is it illegal to use Google dorking? Uh, I'm trying to create a form, but he's trying to do some stuff. So the replies here are, don't misuse our services. Uh, and then of course, is Google dorking a misuse of our service? And let's leave it down at this. The answer is finally, we're not employees. We're, we're, not, in, we're not attorneys. Don't ask us, go get your own lawyer. So I guess I'll have to leave you with that same advice since I'm not a lawyer, I can't give you real advice uh, legally. Uh, that would be malpractice, obviously. So don't do it. If you think it's probably illegal, if you are uh, caught by doing something illegal, then go hire a lawyer. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some of the other videos that I've created on computer security, you can see all things related to hacking and penetration testing and securing your database. So check it out in the playlist.